How you doing guys? Uh, I kind of want to do an update video uh, what I've been working on. Um, I have, haven't done a, a video in a little while. I try to do one every week. Um, but like I said, uh, with the new baby, uh, full-time job, um, and other stuff. And actually this is one of the reasons I've actually got a sponsored uh, review. Um, which is coming up very shortly, uh, at least part one. It's going to be pretty long, so I'm splitting it up in two parts. So uh, stay tuned for that. So um, I'm doing it for, of course, uh, the viewers and, and myself, a lot of fun. So I, I kind of want to just kind of make a video, relax, and, and tell you, like I said, what's going on with my channel, uh, some new things. Um, now... I know for a while, a lot of people put, you know, responses, statements, questions, and answers, and, and I used to do a, answer them directly on uh, YouTube itself in the comment section, and now that I monetize all my videos, I'm afraid to actually do that because then it goes directly to the video, and it starts playing, and I'm afraid they're going to turn stuff off because they think I'm trying to gain monetization from my own videos, which I'm not try trying to do at all. So I'm actually going to uh, do it live uh, on a video. And uh, plus it's a little bit more interactive, I think, um, actually talking about it. And drinking some coffee as well. Um, just woke up not too long ago. Um, so some of these questions are actually kind of old, but they, they, they've actually uh, got some updates to them. So I think it's worth going over. And this one question is probably the most helpful I've ever received ever on YouTube. And I'm going to talk um, actually quite a bit into it. Uh, now this question comes, or actually statement comes from Frank, the b binaural microphone. Um, so, which goes into, uh, you really work hard for your videos and you have a great voiceover uh, and can't understand why you don't have more subscribers. I've watched half a dozen of your videos and they end abruptly um, as, it, as it is at a disappointment or a disappointing moment the videos end. Perhaps you will get a better subscriber count if you make better endings or um, I kind of shortened up the, uh, the statement. And that is probably the most useful one I've ever received and I, I thank you on that and I, I try to do the best videos to my ability but the, uh, then, then again it all depends. I try to make the best videos I can with what limited time I have. So sometimes it may not be the best video I can ever make. Uh, it all depends. And I, I do have several problems um, doing thing, uh, public speaking. And for one, um, it's, it's a problem I, I don't know if I've ever mentioned, but I do have short-term memory loss which really makes it hard to do public speaking. And I actually had uh, 40 hours of training in public speaking as a inst uh, Navy instructor. So now if I, th uh, if I talk things off the uh, top of my head, it's a lot easier. But things that I have to um, pre-do about a topic, I, I tend to have to write it out. In fact, here's the script I have for a, a current sponsor video and I got pages of pages of notes that I have to write down simply because I'll re, uh, forget it. So I do a lot of ums and you know ahs and you know it's just simply me trying to remember the information which is uh, really hard. So that is one thing that's working against me. Um, so I do the best video from my disability, uh, I guess mental disability. But I think that is a great idea. I haven't really thought about uh, the video's ending. I don't know, sometimes it's kind of hard. I mean, what do you say? Like, okay, the video's over now. See you guys later. I guess maybe that's the best way to do it. And, um, you know, I try to, like I said, make the best videos I can with um, uh, mental capacity and everything else. But I appreciate that. I'm gonna actually look into that. Um, now, here's a question. Um, that is several years old. Actually, about one year ago. This is by uh, Amin Hassan, I guess. 
and it says, Hi Stephen, I have a problem I hope you can help uh, me with. My XF100 does not respond at all. It only has one message at a time, uh, which says media mode, and it's even on when switched off uh, and then it only goes away when I disconnect the battery uh, this happened after someone used it and downloaded the shop material on a PC after that as they installed the card again this happened please let me know if there's anything I can do uh, about this since it costed me a fortune to send it overseas to be fixed thank you very much Now actually on this I did look it up and this perhaps was more on a Canon C100 which I also have. I have actually both cameras. Um, there's some things that you should probably try first before sending it off. Now this is pr probably more on things you should do before you shoot rather than if it's uh, already happened. and. Now, if you're sharing settings, now many cameras can share settings, especially with the Canon XF100 and the Canon C100. You can share settings between cameras. Make sure um, all the cameras are set on the same firmware version. So if you upgrade one camera to the newest, uh, you might want to do it with all your other cameras to make sure they have the same firmware. Um, and I know this was a uh, problem with the Canon C100s not having the same firmware and perhaps you were trying to uh, do a new feature or setting that the older firmware doesn't have and then you're stuck uh, and the camera's locked up. Um, now if it's already stuck um, you can try a couple of things. You can reset it. There's actually a reset button that will set it on all the default settings and then perhaps you should upgrade your firmware. Now if that doesn't work, um, you will probably more than likely have to um, put the most current firmware and upgrade it uh, on your camera that's stuck. As a last resort, you may have to set it off to can uh, Canon to fix this problem. Now, you should check because often Canon has many places in the world you can actually send it to. So you may not necessarily have to send it overseas. You might actually have uh, a Canon repair facility a lot closer to you. And there's actually people that are qualified technicians that may even be in your area. So, so check in. Uh, into a more local area. They may be a Canon representative or authorized to do um, repair. Um, now this uh, question comes, I can't even pronounce her name. Uh, it, it's unpronounceable, so I'm not going to attempt and mess up uh, their name. Uh, thanks, Stephen, but why so much trouble for the Final Cut Pro users while other editing softwares download files straight to the timeline? Um, this appears to be when the new Final Cut Pro 10 came out and uh, versus the older Final Cut Pro. Um, and pretty much when you put your, your media, it should download straight to the timeline. Uh, I think that's what he's saying. Uh, too much work for a person like me. I am very uncertain until a job is finished. I might go back to Windows and Adobe Premiere or Edis, I guess that's a video editing software. Feel real stupid for spending so much on Apple products. Now, actually, I've talked back and forth. This was on YouTube's comment section um, to him on this, and he was really kind of unrealistic in some of his expectations, but. Now, this seemed to be a problem. Anytime you rewrite software from scratch, um, which was done with Final Cut Pro 10, there is going to be some snafus until it gets a little bit more mature. And what he problem he was having is um, downloading his media directly to the timeline. And that's the, the problem that I had with the new Final Cut Pro 10. Um, at the time, I was using a Canon XF100, which has can MXF files. So what I had to do as a workaround was to convert it to ProRes and then import it into Final Cut Pro 10. Now over time, 
um, they had eventually updated this and it was natively, it would, it, you could download it directly to the timeline the MXF files uh, and it wasn't a problem. So like I said, it does take time. Now, you also want to check with your cam camera manufacturer as well. In, this, in my case, it was Canon because Apple actually puts out an SDK for camera ma manufacturers to, to write their own plugins to support new codecs and, and, and file formats and so on. So that's actually what Canon did before um, um, Apple made a fix for this. I actually went to the website, downloaded it, um, uh, put in the plugin that Canon provided, and now I can actually um, sh import straight to the timeline my MXF files. And then uh, a year or two later, um, Apple Final Cut Pro 10 actually supported this um, native downloading of files to the timeline. So yeah, you always want to check on a regular basis on your cameras you're using or perhaps even software, any firmware updates and so on. Now, you don't necessarily want to um, update every firmware update that you have. Sometimes you don't want to do, do that, only if it's going to be an advantage for you to do this. Um, because often what can happen is something goes wrong and your firmware is now stuck, you can't upgrade it, you can't do anything else, and you got to send the camera back. Only if it makes a um, support something that you don't have or other problems. And um, this come, this next question comes from Jack McRoberts several months ago. This is on the um, video I did on Black Media Express Thunderbolt. I'm having trouble getting my camera to show up on Media Express. I get a blank screen. I have a Sony A7S hooked up. I know that the output is and I have changed the settings to match but I have not been successful to get the device to show up. Uh, do you know this, why this is the case? And uh, let me get a quick drink here. My voice is starting to get a little um, rough here. Now I've had the same experience, the same problems myself. Often what you gotta do in any software that's um, where you're trying to get live streaming, recording off the camera, is to try each setting all in, in a row until you get one that works, uh, especially with Black Meat Express. So I'd simply go to the next one, the next one, the next one, and once I found the one that works, then you save it and you should be good to go. Now keep in mind, if you try to match camera settings to your software settings on your computer, that may not always work. And the reason why it doesn't is because it depends on the output of your camera that's going to be hardwired. Uh, give an example on my camera, which is HDMI output to my capture device, it does it in a different format than the actual setting in the camera. It, I believe it does it HDMI um, 60i out. So if the camera setting is 720p, obviously that's not going to work. It, it's only HDMI 1080p or 1080i and 60i, I believe. So um, you want to keep that in account as well. Um, this next question, I can't remember who uh, stated this, but I wrote it down. Uh, this had to do with the new Apple TV fourth generation, I believe. Um, Apple, is stupid, uh, Apple is stupid for not making the new Apple TV support 4K which I kind of went over before, the reasons perhaps why they didn't do it. I think one of the biggest reasons is there's simply not very much 4K content out there. Uh, even, even now, and even during that time, um, I'll give an example, Netflix, um, Hulu, and some of the one, uh, ones out there, um, they don't really have very much 4K content. Yes, they are able to stream 4K content. Then again, um, you have to have um, a 4K monitor, 4K TV, and everything down the line. And right now, even with service providers or um, internet service providers, um, there may be data caps. Um, um, could cost you extra money to download this. Your bandwidth, there may not be enough bandwidth. You have to actually up 
or, or it may be additional cost to to get more bandwidth to watch 4K content. So I think during that time, that was why Apple didn't want to do this. Um, here's another question. Uh, hello. It says good night. Uh, a question. Uh, he bought two Ultra Studio Ultra Studio Mini recorders. This is by Black Magic. Um, which I'm familiar with, it has two outputs by Thunderbolt, I believe. It's um, it, you can input HDMI and SD, uh, SDI, HD, I believe. Um, thinking that would connect to my Windows PC, I have no entries for Thunderbolt. Uh, can someone tell me how to connect uh, any device? Unfortunately, for those mini recorders, which are in a lower price point, I believe, um, $145, um, you don't have any breakout cables, um, and plus it's, it's Thunderbolt anyway. So anytime you buy anything, you want to do your research um, before you buy something to make sure it's com uh, compatible um, from the input all the way to the output to your computer. And which I've always done. Um, it's your money, hard-earned money, so you want to make sure you knowing what you're buying uh, is compatible. Um, somebody mentioned um, Stephen for president. Um, I thought of running, comparing what we candidates we had already, but I don't think they're going to have me. So uh, thank you on that. Um, Okay, this is an interesting question. What is now the difference between um, uh, Adobe Lightshop 6 and the Creative Cloud version? I want to buy 6 tomorrow in a store as a CD. Sorry for my uh, English and greetings. Actually, that's a very good question. Okay, anytime you buy a new version, um, could be the downloadable version or the CD version. There's only a few that the Adobe has. I know Light, Lightroom or yeah, Lightroom is one of them. Uh, when it first comes out, it's, let's say it's newly upgraded, it's going to be almost exactly the same version as the Creative Cloud. Now the Creative, Creative Cloud is a subscri subscription software, so it's automatically updated as time goes on. So um, wait months or even a year afterward, it may be a completely different version. Uh, at least the Creative ca uh, Cloud version is. So keep that in mind. Um, anytime you buy the newest version, it may not be updated on a regular basis like the Creative ca Cloud version. Uh, that's about it. So um, those are some of the uh, questions and answers on some of my YouTube uh, channel. I'm going to try to do it on a regular basis when I can. And that's all. And have a great day. And uh, look up for my new uh, sponsored video. Should be up shortly, within a week or two.